Traveling is one of my favorite things to plan and execute, but in this weird time, traveling far and wide is a little bit hard to do, so we have to settle for something a little more local. And what better way to do it locally than to a place that's only an hour away from you is considered one of the wonders of the world but you just haven't seen. You just haven't put in that hour drive just to get there. Well, today, that's gonna change. The day is January 6th, 2022, and it's abnormally warm here in Atlantic Canada. A perfect day to go out and film these wonders. I'm doing this trip with my good friend and frequent collaborator, Oliver Primer, and we decided to take New Brunswick's most scenic highway to get here. But that was the subject of last week's video. This week, we're showing you Fundy National Park. As Oliver just said, if you come to uh, Funny National Park or any national park in the off season, which is like winter, early spring, you don't have to pay. So we just drove through the uh, receptionist desk, we didn't have to pay a cent, and now we're about to experience this incredible national park completely for free. Alright, so we're headed to Point Wolf. This is along the coast and it's known for its really nice hiking trails. Oh. So, it looks like Point Wolf is actually closed. That's important to know if you're coming here in the off-season. Doesn't mean the entire park is closed. We're gonna take a right here and cross this nice stone bridge. Right now we're coming up on a view of the ocean and it is high tide, so we're gonna be able to see a lot, a lot of, water. of water. Very nice. You forgot the camera. So oh. irresponsible. Oh. My bad, my bad. It is incredible how warm it is here today. As I've mentioned, today is January 6th, 2022. I am in a t-shirt right now. It's breezy, the tides are right into the shore. This is about as high tides as you can get. The weather is incredible. I'm in a t-shirt in January. I cannot get over that. I have never had a day in January where it has been this beautiful outside. To think that we have an entire part of a national park all to ourselves just because we chose to come here in the middle of the winter really goes to show what you can do when you come here during the off season. Go see things when it's a time you don't feel exactly comfortable doing it. Step out of your comfort zone once, go find a day like this when you have incredibly lucky weather and you'll have this entire, entire oceanfront national park to yourself. I love this. I'm wearing a t-shirt in January, man. This is incredible. <sighs> I've never seen this before. I'm having a really good time, too. Um, but as Oliver just said, we came here to do a hike, so we're going to do a hike. As great as this scenery is, we have to keep moving. So let's go. We're gonna hike the coastal trail, or at least a segment of it, that is 3.2 kilometers long down to Herring Cove, which is viewed as one of the most beautiful scenes in the entire province. All in all, this hike will be about 6.4 kilometers, but the views will be worth it. Hey, we need to do that B-roll and travel video so they're like... <laughs> Come on, let's get this hike on. We just threw shade at Sprout right there and I kind of love it. <laughs> will, if you're watching this, we're sorry. Should we take the path less traveled, Noah? Uh, I think this path is called falling down the stairs. Was Robert Frost saying that he was happy to take the path less traveled by? I don't um, think that's what he was actually saying. So, we're just gonna take the regular path. This path. And then once we get to the top, we're gonna regret not taking that one. <laughs> Why didn't I take that path? Why didn't we? This, we could have been so much quicker. Can we go back in time and take the other path? I don't know, man. The path less traveled. I can't get a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> no, be happy with the choice you made. This is a metaphor. See, both paths went to the same place. So you never know. Don't regret the path, just be happy with the one you took. And that place is death. <laughs> and just like that, we are underway with our hike across the coastal trail in Fundy. It's the sounds of winter nature here in New Brunswick. Also, my water bottle's empty. Noah forgot his water bottle. We're just starting this hike. Here, this video is for you, so you know what not to do when you're coming to Fundy in the winter. So leave a like because, you know, we're suffering through this for you. Here's something that we didn't really think about. We're just coming to the end of Christmas break and we're not exactly in shape. Yet we decided to do a trail that is often regarded as a very difficult path in this park. But I think that's part of the fun of it. We pushed ourselves to a point where we were so uncomfortable and everything hurt and we were tired without water. But in the end, it was all worth it. We pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone again and did a hike that was worth it in the end. So please stick around to the end of the video to see how it's worth it. Well, we're on the coastal hike. 
and we're still yet to see a coast. We're like two kilometers in and there hasn't been a coast yet. So it seems as though we've done a majority of the hike and we still haven't seen any person here. I'm actually working up quite a good sweat. I feel hot in this coat from walking and from the abnormally really nice temperature. This has been really nice. It's been nice to actually get a decent amount of exercise. All right, so we just came up to this kind of like junction with a little bit of information about where to go. We are right here, so we just came all this way. We're almost at Herring Cove, which is a really, really, really pretty sight to see. We've only got about probably less than a kilometer to go before we get there. 200 meters. 200 meters, that's way less than a kilometer. And now we're coming up to what has been called one of the prettiest sights to see in all of New Brunswick. Do not drink water. Notice, non-potable water. Oh, that's the worst, when there's a tap and that so you can't drink it. Oliver went to get some water while I continued down towards the beach of Herring Cove. He'll of course meet up with us again later, but for now, I'm continuing down towards the beach. I'm really excited to show you guys what this is. I've never actually been here before. I've never been to Herring Cove Beach, but it has been essentially in my backyard for most of my life, and I am really, really excited to see what this is like. Whoa, a free camera. Look at that, you don't see that every day now, do you? So I think I'm starting to understand why this is called one of the prettiest spots in all of New Brunswick. Just take a look at this. Unbelievable, wow. Look at all this. This is the Bay of Fundy, the tides are going out now. It is no longer high tide. What a day. Ooh, that's actually getting inside my boot. I'm gonna go back this way. Unreal. Unreal. That sunset is what makes this worth it. It's always the sunsets that make me really, really, really proud of the hike or the journey that we went on. Because looking out on it, you have a, a, a view of everything. This incredible view. I have been living in New Brunswick, Canada for 14 years of my life and I have never done this and I live a hundred kilometers away, not even. It's just incredible to think that this is just in my backyard. This is in New Brunswick, Canada. You know they call this place No Funswick? There are people here who call it No Funswick. I myself, I've been doing it for years. I've been calling this place No Funswick for a long time. But I'm starting to realize doing these videos, filming adventures here. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. And on that note, we started the hike back. Oliver ended up finding some water, albeit from a running stream that he didn't drink. But we began our hike back and we admittedly felt pretty tired and really dehydrated, but in my mind at least, I felt accomplished and fulfilled. Like I had done something grandiose, but it was only an hour away from my home. And that really was kind of the point in this mini-series. Me and Oliver have lived near Moncton, New Brunswick for most of our lives, and we are definitely not the first ones who have said that there's nothing to do in New Brunswick, and it's no Funswick. But starting this channel, and doing a couple of videos just in Moncton and Fundy, I'm beginning to realize I haven't been exploring enough. I haven't been adventurous, and I haven't given New Brunswick the adventurous spirit that it deserves. But I think that's the moral of this video. I watch a lot of people who do these videos about Montreal and Vancouver, but no one's ever done Moncton, because a lot of people don't think twice about Moncton as a city as to adventure. So the moral of this video is, make the best of the hand you're given. Go find something that makes your own area worth it. Because no matter how many times you've done something, there's always something new that you can discover. La pièce de résistance. Water. <sighs> we did the hike. What a reward. What a beautiful view of Herring's Cove. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do for now is I'm gonna go and show you the tides. When we showed up here, it was about high tide, as high tide as it gets here. Now it is 520, and here's how much the tides have changed. You can actually see the rocks where the water was wet. Or what? You can actually see the rocks that look wet from where the water was earlier. That is how fast the tides change out here. And the tides aren't even halfway done changing yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we stand here on the beaches of Fundy Bay, 
I think it's time that we conclude today's video. So far today, we drove up through this really, really cool scenic highway, found this awesome railway museum, and then we went to Hopewell Rocks and saw some of the best rock structures that you can find in the entire world. And then we concluded it and one of the most beautiful spots in all of Atlanta, Canada. Thank you for sticking around this two-part series just to show you kind of Southeast New Brunswick and what it's like. Don't forget, that over there is Oliver Primer. He's got a channel. He just did this massive Germany trip and his videos are incredible. Please go watch his videos. That is going to have to conclude these two videos. I'm going to show the teaser for next week's video. Thank you so much. I'm Noah. That's Oliver. We'll see you the next time.